Hey guys, Justin here with Super Shy Guy Gaming, and today we are back to playing some Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So in the last episode, we took out Ulrox and we got the Echo of the Bat, which will definitely come in handy later. And uh, so until that time comes, obviously, we're just going to move on. And I'm not sure why... Oh, I was supposed to go up here. That's right. It's been a while, obviously. <laughs> so let's just go through this way. We're going to get uh, the gold ring this episode, and we'll see what else we can cover. Uh, maybe if we can do some other stuff in the meantime. I'm sure we can. It's not too long of a path to the gold ring. So we'll make it there soon enough. But kill these bloody zombies that die in one hit now with our really powerful sword. Because why not? And speaking of which, I need to make sure I don't have... Okay, good. Good. I do have that equipped. Okay, drop down really far. In an awesome fashion, I might add. Oh wait, do I not go that way? Wrong way. Let's backwards dash to victory. Just like we had been doing. Oh yeah, that's right, we forgot about this guy. Ah, oh, dang it. His stabby stabby hurts. Dang it, he really does stab good. He even got me with his maneuver there that he pulled off. Yeah, you're not going to hit me with the throwing sword, fortunately. Ah, close one. Oh. I think I might die, actually. <laughs> Alright, so let's get through here. Hopefully we don't have to fight those a-holes anymore. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, down this way. We're just kind of backtracking a bit. Let's check something, actually. Oh, yeah, now that we've got the bat, we can actually explore what's up there. We weren't able to before, so we might as well do it. <laughs> that was the most dramatic death pain ever. That was totally unnecessary, Alucard. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, that's obviously blocked up, but we can go up here. Let's fly. Okay. Just gonna scope this stuff out here. Couple of choice items, potion, hammer, life apple. I think the life apple actually increases our life, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay, familiars only can use it, so... That's useful for the fairy. Okay, let's see what's over here. Some more treasure, I'm assuming. Yep. Got the gravity boots. And I think that actually is supposed to come in handy with the upside down castle, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's see, where is the item, actual item at? Oh, it's a relic. I, I don't know what I'm thinking here. Gravity boots. Where it can jump high. Oh, actually, it just increases our jump. Okay, I guess that's nice. Might as well. Okay, so we did that, and now we can move on. Um, hmm, yeah, let's go down, I guess. Oh yeah, hunchbacks or flea man. It's funny. I always used to call them hunchbacks. I, I'm pretty sure that's what they wore, but for whatever reason, they changed it to flea man. That's my theory, anyways. The Ouija table. I'm gonna take that out. Apparently, because it's moving around, it's a Ouija table. Okay, there we go. Let's work our way back up. And might as well max out our hearts in the process. Oh, and get hit. That's fine, too. Uh, yeah, clock. Let's regain it. It's been a while since we had it. Let's see where we're at in the map. Okay, let's go down. 
That's kind of funny. They're like right next to each other there. Whatever. We don't need to worry about that. So we'll just go down here. All right. So now we're going to the underground caverns. Get that stuff over with. Interesting how he did a uh, upward stab like that. There we go. Ah, oh, crap. And we can go here and save and heal real quick, because why not? Although it's actually pretty close to where we need to go. It's still good to be uh, prepared. So don't, don't forget to do that, obviously. Be prepared before you delve into the dungeons. Go up here. Grab the javelin. I think that's a throwing weapon. Go down here, I suppose. Okay, yes. Now we don't have to worry about accidentally falling because we got this bat form. There we go. And we've got a plenty of hearts. So we can do whatever we need to here. Claymore. I wonder how good of a weapon that is. Mm, not bad. Oh, it's two-handed, though. Yeah, let's not. It's just not as good. So it's a weapon we'll never bother using because... What's the point of using an inferior weapon? Well, she just want to challenge herself, I guess. Or unless it has, like, some kind of special properties, which I doubt it. The Claymore is a pretty tame-sounding name for a weapon. I mean, standard RPG conventions dictate that if it's a pretty tame-sounding name, it's probably probably is. Meal ticket. Another meal ticket. I'm noticing a theme here. Oh, wait! That's not a meal ticket. <laughs> it's a moonstone. Completely different. Let's see what that does actually. Hmm, actually increases defense pretty good. Improves status after sunset. Okay. Well, isn't it nighttime already in the game? I mean, isn't it nighttime the whole time? So, I mean, clearly that seems like a good item to equip. But strangely enough, if I equip it here, it actually decreases my stats, but if I equip it here, it increases them. So obviously, Ring of Pales, sorry. <laughs> You're out. Okay, and we got another save point here. Might as well utilize it. Okay, there we go. Now we just need to go over to get what we need. This is weird. Really weird. I'm thinking we're teleporting somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, nightmare. Okay. Mother! That voice! Alucard, it's you! I'm coming, Mother! I'll save you! No, Alucard! Don't come here! But, Mother! It's all right. If my death can save others, I gladly surrender my life. Mother, no! Please, no! Yes, Alucard. Watch me die and remember always my last words to you. Yes, Mother. You must despise humans. They are to be your prey. <laughs> what? Better for them to die than to let them compound their sins. Begin by slaying that one over there. No, it wasn't like this. What's wrong? Alucard. My mother never said such a thing. What do you mean? Kill them and bring them happiness. No, you're not my mother. What kind of demon are you? <laughs> Good call. <laughs> you broke free of my spell. I like that. Demon, death is too good for you. 
Come here, little boy, and show me what you got. All right, let's see what you got. Uh oh, which one's which? It's not that one. Ooh, yeah. Throw those spears out, succubus. Really using that attack a lot. Ah, that sucks. Teleporting pink balls. Watch out for them. And I'm noticing a theme with that. Ah, a pr pretty easy fight. Darkling, I smell your blood. You're a vampire? Could it be... That strength, that beauty. You're the son of Lord Dracula. Death in the dream world will sit your soul wandering for eternity, demon. Wait! I beg of you! Ah! I'm sorry, succubus. But you sucked. <laughs> Such a cheesy line, right? Gold ring, what's that do? Inscription, wear clock. Okay. That's a hint, in case you couldn't tell. So... Anyways, the succubus fight is over with. We're not going to save or wait. Well, might as well, I think. Okay, let's see what we got next now. All right. So I think we're going to work our way down further into the underground caverns to get the next item we need. But good thing we grabbed all those meal tickets. For whatever reason. I mean, I don't think they'd be very handy, but... Oh, well. Actually, I never even attempted to use the uh, clock in that fight. wonder if it actually uh, would have been any good. I assume probably not, but we'll see. Maybe another playthrough will find out. Drop down. Bam. That's hell of a fall there. If you need a save point, you got one right here. Okay. That took 15 seconds that we didn't need to take, but oh well. Let's go over here, I think. Hey, a toadstool. Got it. Another one. Oh, it's a shit take. Or shiitake, I mean. Aha. So much immature comment, right? Well, we'll go up here later. I don't know if we need to go up here just yet, so. Crap. Okay. I'm like all scared with this freaking toad. He dies in one hit. He is not a menace to us at all, but I'm, like, worried about him. Okay. Got in there, shiitake. Okay, this is interesting. Can't pass through. Get through it! Yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> I should have used the clock, actually. That would have made a lot of sense to do in that situation, but... Oh, well. Okay, let's see where we're at here. Let's move on a little bit further, I think. We... Just keep moving on for now. Okay, whoa, 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 watch it. Magical robot thing. Er, robot thing. <laughs> this frog thing. I don't know why I've been calling a frog a robot. That just doesn't make any sense. Okay, there we go. Okay, this is... Can't go down here just yet. 
I don't want to deal with your ish. Let's just do that. There we go. Much better. Mm-hmm. Might as well grab this. The icy water hurts, people. It really does. Not sure how I get down from here. Hmm. I mean, clearly this looks like it can bust open, but... Hmm, I'm gonna need, uh... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward a bit. Okay, how about we do this? Yes. Something appeared near to the wooden bridge. What, what's that supposed to mean? Okay, whatever. That made no sense, but whatever. Okay. Get out of the freaking bat form. I don't need to be in there that long. I guess I should have just trusted my instincts, but I didn't. It's kind of funny that they had that whole message, like, the puzzle is so obscure they actually had to throw in a message like that. Okay, let's get over here. Get out of the way, froggy. Alright, come on. Come over here, skelly. We need you to bust this bridge. While we're young. Okay. Do you have another fire thing or not? Do I have to get off screen for a little bit for you? Spawn one or what? I guess probably. Oh, you just disappeared. Thanks, Brody. Thanks. Okay, come on. Spawn more. Come on. Ah, seriously? I guess we'll just fast forward until we can get him through the barrel. Okay, I think this might actually work. Alright, let's see this. Nice! Fooled him. Haha! <laughs> Fooled him good. And now we can get where we need to go. Okay, we actually got a boss fight coming up, I do believe, so we'll see how that goes for us. 50 bucks. Heart. Uh, let's see. Giant dog. Alright. Holy water. Okay, NSA point. Probably a boss fight nearby. Not sure if it's right through the uh, door or maybe a little bit after, but one thing's for sure, you know, based on the formula we've, you know, kind of learned from this game so far, there's definitely going to be a boss nearby. So we'll have to be on our toes here. Obviously, you can kind of go back and forth to get hearts and whatnot if you need to beef your heart counter, but we're already full, so I think we should be fine. Yeah, that definitely looks like a boss. Oh, that's really tearing him up. Good. Oh, holy crap. I don't know why I moved. I was safe. Okay, I, don't, I didn't need to do that at all, but okay. 
Very easy. <laughs> that was way too freaking easy for a boss fight. I mean, it was just scarily easy, but whatever. Um, it's not even worth going back to the save point, honestly, for that fight. I barely took any damage at all. Um, can't get to that switch quite yet. But what if I had an X? That's okay, we'll worry about that later. Let's just kill a Salem witch. So, apparently this witch came all the way from America just to go in Dracula's castle and attack us. Oh, holy crap! Okay, that wasn't the witch. That was actually just probably part of the environment, so... That was actually extra really good effect. Okay, so let's move on. Probably don't want to descend too quickly, because you never know we're going to run into something that, uh... I forget what this does. Oh, it's, yeah, that stupid weapon. It sucks. <laughs> you throw a little gem thing and it bounces around in a pattern that you can't control at all, so... Have fun with that. Uh, kill the gremlins. Holy crap. Apparently this gremlin thinks that, uh... You can mop stuff with flames. I don't know. Yeah, that worked really well. <laughs> oh, okay, actually, they can make the fire disappear with the shield. That's really cool. So, pro tip for you. Just, obviously, that's a pro tip, too. Uh. Oh, that didn't work out very good. That's really cool, though, that the shield kind of does that. And then it kind of disappears and gets thrown off in all kinds of weird directions. I don't know how that makes sense, but it does, apparently. So here, here's another teleporter room. Um, we're just going to use it real quick. Because you want to, once you see one, you want to use it. And then it kind of just cycles through them. So you just keep going until you get back to the uh, appropriate teleporter room. If you're not sure which one you're at, hit the uh, left uh, trigger slash L2 and that'll tell you. Another one will do. There we are. Okay. So now it's time to fight the stupid gremlins again. We'll throw a gem at them. Why not? Ooh, it hit him. <laughs> like the w oh, it hit him twice. Holy crap. Three times. Wow. Maybe it's not that bad of a thing. You can sort it too, I guess. I suppose. Wow. Okay, whatever. Let's fight some more Salem Witches. Gotcha! Oh! Uh, apparently the witch can still throw its attack out after uh, killing it, so be careful with that. And the attack kind of has some tracking, so be careful with that. Okay. Let's see where we're at here. Um, pretty sure we go this way. Okay, yeah, we should be getting fairly close, actually, to uh, where we need to go. Okay. Mm, yeah, I'll stick with the axe for now. It's better than the gym, that's for sure. Um... Yeah, let's go here. Oh, nice, save point. I wasn't expecting one there. And it's one that goes double-sided, too. Okay. Hmm. Let's go over here. See what we've got this way. Where are skeletons? There are skeletons. In bad joke. Okay. Yeah, run away. <laughs> uh. Okay. They're like the crappiest enemies ever. They have no attack pattern. Just ran randomly run around. Like gremlins, I guess. So, quite appropriate. Get back the axe. Hmm. Okay, let's move this 
Let's take it. Just in case we got a... Did I kill him, or...? Oh, large slime, okay. Okay, that's weird. Okay. Keep throwing. Yeah, run away. <laughs> that skeleton is fleeing like him. <laughs> He's not dead. Okay. I was about to say, he better be. Um, let's see where we're at. Let's go up here, I think. We should be getting pretty close to the spike breaker, but... Uh... Hmm, okay. This will help us. Holy crap. No! That didn't work out very good. Holy crap. Holy moly. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. Okay, that was a lot more than I expected. <laughs> good thing we saved. Um, I think we'll have to tackle that on the next episode. Because I think we're running low on time. So, I do thank you guys for watching and you know, get having us get more progress. We actually fought two bosses that episode. That's pretty good progress. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to get past this part in the next episode. So hopefully I'll see you guys there. Uh, but till then, Justin with Super Shy Guy Gaming, out.